And that's how I stopped the uh, Gallipoli fights. He just fucking learnt hot cross buns. Man. I mean, I had, I had, I knew it as a kid, but I'd forgotten it. This oh, is the okay. ass flute. I'd, I swear I'd forgotten it. I had no idea what I was doing just now. Oh, the fans on, Matt! <laughs> Turn the fucking fan off, Matthew Brown. Listen to the sound difference. Ooh, so much crisper now. Mm. Oh, wow. This is episode number three of the Martin McAfee actual podcast, and we are fucked. We're fucked. Man, yesterday, last, <laughs> let me tell you about the week <laughs> we've had. Yesterday, we filmed another episode for our upcoming series, which sport is the scariest, and um, we got and did M- the MMA episode. Oh, my God. That's the scariest. Oh, we can't really say this yet. Well, yeah, we can't We can't give you the what happened, but we didn't sleep much the night before, and it's fucking terrible. Terrifying. Oh, man. Fucking terrifying. And we're very so- sore today, but we're very grateful that we got out of it alive. I got choked out. Yep, Michael got completely black out. It's like you are gone. It feels like you're gone for half an hour, but you're literally gone for Gone like in a another dimension and that, eh? Hey? It's like DMT. I'd relate getting choked out similar to DMT. Now, Michael's always like just nudging me. Come on, just choke me out. Yeah. Choke me out. Well, I reckon I can see why girls like it. Maybe we should start doing it when we're wrestling. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, just kidding. We don't wrestle. Yeah, I'm too scared to wrestle. Actually, I do wrestle sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a wrestle member. After drinking. Ma? Did no. I wrestle you? No, you wrestled... Um... <laughs> Jaden, I wrestle a bit, but he always fucks me <laughs> up. Fucking, fucking soccer players. We're fucking trying to organize an episode with the Brisbane Raw players, and they're all legends, but the fucking admin... Of these sporting fucking associations. associations. It's just ridiculous. No, no, you, you can't film a video with them. It's it's bad media. How's it fucking bad media? It's just a couple of fucking soccer players kicking some balls at us. Wait, maybe I just had a thought. The reason why they don't like us, because we fucked with AFL and AFL's a sport and soccer's a sport, so somehow they're connected. So no anyone with sport. No, because I hit him, I hit him up last year, the beginning of last year to do a video as well. Them and the Broncos, the same shit. So it's just, no, sorry. Like, it's just like- They're how, lucky to work with us. How do they not know that it's, Matt, be- benefit, it's mutually beneficial for them? Like, we're not going to- We don't have to mention Raw. We don't have to mention anything to do with a fucking club. We just want a couple of their players to kick a few balls at us. Done. Are, you, are you unable to go to the players directly? Yeah, that's what we did. But they had to, uh, had to ask for the club. said go to admin. No, they they themselves went mm. to admin because they have to clear it because they can't they, they can't, can't just do they they've can't got, just do got something keepers because I've seen Broncos players do photo shoots which is obviously similar yeah they'd probably players. get cl- they'd have to get cleared by all their fucking by their dumb keepers. fucks all the dumb fucks in admin yeah so we probably won't have we will have a soccer episode yeah we will but it's just more fucking work now we gotta really try hard to find we can time. get Jay yeah yeah we, well yeah we definitely what about have. a retired player yeah that's what we're looking at now retired dogs look at this man oh wait 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 listen get up god weak it was weak we got the flute on standby um, <laughs> yes we any- got it ready <laughs> 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 oh, that reeks. I really, yeah, I've been like, I've been, it's been keeping me up a bit thinking about this. If I nail this, that I'll fucking stop sweeping your Can shit you at me. Can you smell that? <laughs> it is so bad. Small, small, but very bad. I've been fucking stressing that, that this, that once I manage to play, imagine if I play hot cross buns on the road. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll do the, oh, can you, will you be able to do the ring work? I'll learn eventually, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking learn it eventually. <laughs> and then everyone will be like, oh, you're that guy who can play hot cross buns with his fart. <laughs> oh, with his ah, fart. Oh, you win. <laughs> 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 Maybe you'll win a Grammy. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Oh, it is dude. art. It's fun. He's already let out two fucking rippers and he fucking didn't even get the, the flute. I can't even record. F- I can't even fart while not filming the podcast now because Michael gets so annoyed at me. Have you tested? <laughs> yeah, he's got to save him. You've got to fucking save them. Have you tested where you're going to put it exactly? And is Michael needing to assist? Possibly. This is uncharted waters. No one's ever done this before. <laughs> this is what we do. We do shit that no one's ever done before. Oh, it's probably happened before, hey? 
Yeah, you probably. But like, it. but not as well. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of practice that goes well, in. No at one's got like a fart like you, so yours is going to be different because your fart is so fucked. Man, there there are guys out there who can who can do this like on fucking call. Yeah, they suck air up their ass. Yeah. Then they can just let it go. Did you know that, Matthew? Math Matthew? I, I think I'm just the only idiot in the world who is willing to film it and put it online. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, it's not. It's smart, dude. It's fucking cool. Like, it is. I'm jealous. Um, well, you have to blur a bit. Oh, nah. yeah. Hell yeah, baby. I My pushy ain't going out down on the internet, <laughs> baby boy. Oh, well, is it blurred like every time that we- Yeah, of yeah. course it fucking is, mate. Yeah. I thought you can't even see your asshole. It's just me that can see it. We have to it's fold- It's just side of your bum. As you get no. all of it. We you have get- to fold to the pressures of social media today. Which reminds me, this podcast is sponsored by the fucking best fucking website in the fucking world, all right? If you want to support us, support the podcast, go and sign up to our website. We've got weekly vlogs coming out. We do some fucking cool shit on there. We had a, a fight with sex toys. We did the science experiment, which sex toy hurts the most. And it's not what it sounds like. We didn't use them in the traditional way. We just fucking whacked each other with the whips and the fucking dildos and shit. It's, it's pretty fucking, you'd be surprised. Matt, which sex toy hurts the most? Yesterday, we relived a story from about four years ago when we kidnapped a man and bashed him till he blew. Bash. <laughs> yeah, there's some fucked up shit on there. Shit, we can't, you know. Anyway, if you want to support us, sign up for that. If you don't, if you can't, don't have any money, all good. You can support us by fucking liking this. I, I looked at the analytics. Half the people that listen to this podcast aren't even fucking subscribed. So if you what? want to support us, subscribe like leave a comment you don't even need to think of a good comment just comment the word comment and remember ask matt questions because he's the question man ask matt questions you can do whatever you want but at the end of the day this podcast is sponsored by the university of markle the fucking link for it it's a 21 day free trial the link for it's in the description you can sign up for free if you don't like the content you can fucking leave if you like us and you just want to help us out that's all you got to do. Be with her. We don't have merch at the moment, so you can't buy our merch. And we're sitting here in a sweaty shithole. There's no aircon. With a fucking flute on standby to shove up my ass. It's Recorder, not- but we also have the fucking German, German segments. segments. And I, I can't, can't wait, wait for that. <laughs> all right. Actually, back to the University of Michael. Matthew, how's that going? Yes, Matthew. Have you signed up? And what do you think of the latest videos? You're one of our closest friends. I'm sure you would have signed up. Of course he would have signed up, Michael. Don't be so ridiculous. (laughs) I'm assuming he's laughing because he's remembered something funny from one of our vlogs on the website. Um... Oh, man. (laughs) I'm, um... I'm working on it. All right. We'll see. We'll come. I'm talking to uh, you. Talking to you. You're talking to the banks. Upgrade in the uh, <laughs> pay section, so I can. You're talking to the banks. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, I just something lost golly. in the transaction. Mm. All right. Well, fucking, we got a jam-packed fucking episode. We got German segments. We got paranormal stories. We got a PM on boxing. I'm pretty sure there's a. We got the hunt. I'm update. pretty sure there's a dick in this. Yeah, we got a, the hunt update, and of course we got a fucking prank call. You fucking lucky dogs. Look at my fucking hair. looks good looks good little point at the front alright moving fucking right along fucking to fucking on these days is it Matt what did how long did these ones take you Matthew Gregory Brown Brown how long did the on these days take you this week Matt Brown long time yeah okay anything you want to talk about before I get into them or you just sort of want me to just get he's into looking it. cute, isn't he? He's looking nervous. I think maybe he's... Have you written something you regret? Oh, I guess we'll find out. All right, you ready? Oh. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> On this day in 1925, Thomas found a trampoline in the forest. Thomas dragged the trampoline home and used it to send food to villages across the river. He would find a chicken, grab it by the neck so tightly that it would crush its windpipe. He would then sling the lifeless corpse into the trampoline with all his strength. The trampoline was angled in such a way that it launched the dead chickens across the river to feed the people on the other side. Thomas was a hero until he slaughtered all of the chickens on his own side of the river. Thomas starved to death three weeks later. So the moral of the story is to leave trampolines in the forest. We got to do a vid with trampolines. That yeah. is so fucking true. 
Marty's alter ego is called Trampoline. Thomas. No, Thomas. Thomas. Shit. Sometimes he becomes Thomas. Tantra. And it's fucking funny, dude. It's so good. He looks exactly like me. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay. On this day in 2007, I literally just sat down in a small patch of grass we have outside the office so that I could take a few selfies while enjoying my lunch. And within seconds, the bit of exposed skin just above my socks was irritated. The grass made my skin itch so badly. I scratched and scratched, but it itched so much. Like, what the fuck? I nearly had to go home from work, but it stopped itching after it started bleeding from the scratching so hard. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Yes, yeah, grass is itchy. I don't know if it's on this day, worthy, but okay. oh fuck! On this day in 2014, Ben Affleck got into a fight with an electric hand dryer. He has publicly <laughs> stated he doesn't understand the technology behind them and says they feel hot and weird, similar to having a bear belch continuously into your hands. Affleck suffered a broken collarbone in the fight and said it just went off at him and he wasn't even standing near it. Well, they do that sometimes. I've been They just- don't go off without you. Oh man, I've hand. been fucking washing my hands and then the fucking dog will start screaming at me, cunt, in the fucking corner of the fucking toilet, cunt. It's happened to me multiple times, man. Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> multiple. Multiple. Multiple times, man. Multiple times. <sighs> Okay. On this day, three weeks ago, Marty, please don't read this out loud. I can't think of any other way to communicate with you without other people overhearing. I've started hitting my girlfriend. Not hard, just open palm hits to the back of her head and some inside leg kicks when we're arguing. Oh, and I put her, put her in a guillotine last week until she said I was right. I'm worried I might have some anger issues, man. I don't know what to do. I'm frightened. I cower back into the shadows of my lair. I will re-enter this world again one day. <laughs> Fucking hell. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. His lair! His lair! <laughs> um, oh. All right, well, I guess moving on there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Oh. Fuck, that was like, you handed that to me though, don't, if you don't want me to read it, maybe talk to me beforehand. Oh. <laughs> lair, his lair. So, oh. What was the inside kicks? The inside leg kicks. Look, I don't want to keep talking about it. We'll talk about this later, Matt. But yeah, like if anyone out there has like anger issues or anything, there's help available, you know. No, I'm not s- s- specifically talking about any anyone in example, but but yeah, if you have huge anger issues, like just you can go see someone. Like go to a council. There's there's methods that they teach you to control your uh, rage because yeah, any type of hitting is is not is just not acceptable, man. Doesn't matter if it's open palm, closed fist, inside leg kicks, guillotine holds. Or unless they want it sexually. Yes, unless they want to be smashed in the fucking skull sexually. There was a movie on that with like um, Kate Hudson. I can't remember what it was. And Ben Affleck's brother. They did a movie about sex fucking yeah and violence sex fuck God, violence. i can't remember what that was called and jessica alba she gets her like skull bashed in all right that's on mm. this day is so now moving right along to the next segment oh i'm looking at matt oh i'm not sure oh what are we gonna do is the name of the next segment which is where we answer questions that you guys have commented on our recent uh youtube video if you want to leave a fucking question for us to fucking answer go to a fucking youtube channel marty and michael fully actual on the fucking youtube and leave a comment in the fucking comment section. And we'll try and get to it. If we don't read your comment this week, try again next week. God, stop giving up so fucking easily. Ask your questions multiple times. Yeah, it takes time. Like, there's so many sometimes we can't get through them all. Matthew? He's shaking his head. He can't believe I've just revealed what he does. Um, everyone's been sending in questions this week. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. That's very good, everyone. Oh, oh, excuse me for raising my voice. <laughs> mm. I didn't oh. think you raised your voice. That's just you. I actually wanted to start off with um, someone who had a little issue with us. Oh, oh fuck. Here we, here we fucking go. Here we go. They commented too much, but then they put a little sub comment on there as well. And they said, this is to our video. One more reason not to go to Brisbane or Australia in general. Sharks, snakes, spiders, and knobheads. 
Wow. <laughs> he got us there, man. Imagine just listening. Like, imagine the type of person you'd have to be to just go around. You, you live commenting on people who make content in a different country, just writing shit like Better that. yet, imagine listening to a 58-minute podcast of people you hate, wasting an hour of your life, and then commenting that shit-ass comment. It's just not We on, win. We won there. We won. No, What's his our, name? All of our feelings are hurt. No, I wasn't going to give his name. Oh, actually, give, no his name. Name. give his name. Give his name. Give his fucking name. Luckily, there's no name. He just calls himself, or she just calls himself, Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson's monkey. Well, there you go. Jo- Michael now. fucking Jackson's monkey is watching the podcast now. <laughs> I thought he was dead. That is fucked up, man. You should- Why doesn't that thing live in a zoo? <laughs> All right. How can it spell? Next question is from uh, Shay Simpson. Uh, just a quickie, LOL. Um, what is uh, what is your favorite song at the moment? Oh, shit, man. We were singing it just before. Oh, yeah. It also says, please sing a line or two. Yeah, fuck. We've got what one in it? our head later. The one yeah. we are just singing. I want to know. Wait, if we, you're busy. We've got a new I'd time. like to know if, if you're, you're doing, doing anything, anything tonight. tonight. I'd like to know, know if, if you, you missed, missed me. me. I'd like to know. I'd like to no. know. Yeah, that song. That's our new jingle. Fucking, it's not that good. So. They also said uh, big hugs from Toowoomba. I have, I That's need to fart, but it's not a big one. So oh, I, give it a go. Give it a go. No. Shove it no. up. No. Give it a no. go. No. It's gone. <laughs> oh, that was such a tease. All right. Oh. Next question is from Liam G. Um, Shami opened up a bar. When are you guys going to open up a bar? We're going to open. That's not in your front yard. We're gonna. We're not gonna open a bar. We're gonna open up a uh, doctor's practice, and where we're going to um, sell medicine. our medicines from. Why don't you guys open up a stand-up comedy club? Because it would just get shut down with fuck with lockdowns. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, and, and it's fucking. It's like because we went and saw. We went to Memory Lane a couple of weeks ago, and it, they're fucking busy as fuck. It's like it consumes their life now. Yeah. So fuck that. Like we've got but, enough, sh- we got enough shit to do <laughs> without needing. Yeah, we'd need like like Shami's got brothers. What have we got? Yeah, we've got sisters. Oh, we've got sister and brother. Don't even live here. It's like we don't have anyone. Shit. We don't have any family, man. Next question is from Mathorn Gaming. You you. Um, Mm, Have you guys ever family. thought about making a kid-friendly or cartoon or just cartoon in general, um, like around you guys and your your science time and your stunts? Yeah, the animators, <laughs> it's hard to find a good one. It takes some ages and mm. it's very expensive. It costs money. Mm. We've got a couple episodes on this fucking podcast channel. Some of our Fully prank actual. calls got animated. There's eh? the cat one. <laughs> and there's, I think, you abusing me while I'm trying to order pizza. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we have had a dip in the animation pool. I believe the Racker Boys did some um, some voice work for cartoons with, uh, with Ludo Studios. That would be fun. Maybe Ludo can help you guys out. That's something I can get. <laughs> Next question is from Andrew McKenzie. Money knows, eh? Seriously, has Marty been psychologically tested? <laughs> Never in my life. I, I really- got an autistic test. You haven't got one yet. I feel like, like, I think back now to my childhood, I was so ADD. So ADD. I reckon you would have been sleep. the naughty kid in the Could, class. I remember there were times when I was like, I just, I can't think. Like, I, I remember thinking as a kid, I can't fucking think right now. I'm trying to think of something and I can't do it. It's fucking weird, man. My brain would just flutter off and my fucking diet probably didn't help. Just a sugar fucking noodles. steady stream of bloody sh- sugar. So, fucking... <laughs> Ooh, still can't think. <laughs> Next question is from Taylor Dow. Um, besides drugs, money, and art, do you boys have anything in particular that you enjoy receiving through your PO box? Nope. Anything and everything. <laughs> Even in a way, and I'm gonna the, the human shit was beautiful because maybe some breast milk. 
Oh, oh calm fuck down. Like, oh, come on. Fucked up. Come on. Can, the smell would be good and I can bodily no, drink it. Wouldn't, would you be able to drink breast no, milk? No, not not by the it's time not. it's hot, 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 hot. Freaks hot. me out. No, I'd rather milk from a cow than there milk any, from a woman. Uh, any recently um, mothers, any recent mothers oh, who oh, listen no. to the podcast, just fucking milk your tit into a sh- little shot glass, wrap some glad wrap tightly around it and um, send it to our PO box and uh, Michael will stick his tongue in it and then we'll give it to Bosley to I drink. I won't drink it, but yeah, I'll have a little fiddle with feel Fiddle with it. it. It could be cheese by the time it gets here. Tit cheese. Wow. And then you put it on your face like makeup and you yeah, run it into war. Ah, run straight. Up. I'm on the front line. <laughs> oh, oh. Gallipoli. <laughs> um, Matthew? Brown. What would you like to be sent? Just a nice thank you note. You've been doing lots of research. Just to know that people care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just anything and everything. Weird shit's funny. Yeah, just shit that looks cool. Just sh- random shit. You see something in a store that you've never seen before, send it to us. Like, like I saw these little bloody kiwi, you know, these little kiwi fruit berries. Kiwi berries, they're called. They're this big. The little kiwis, but they're fucking berries. Oh, yum. Yeah, they're Do you in, have to skin them? They're in coals now, no? You just pop them in your mouth. How m- Okay. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we lost Matt for a bit. <sighs> Look at the smirk. Mm. Can you guys cut that? That's sorry, I got distracted. What? No, that's no, no, that's <laughs> staying in, <laughs> Mum. Leave him saying cut that too. Matt's got one of those things on the chin there. Um, the, a bum chin? Yeah. Have you? I've never noticed. Oh, I've got a little, a little in. Dude, I've got that. It's just a little. I forgot I had that. (laughs) That's why I never shave completely. Really? There's there's a fucking bend in there. I've got a little bit, little bit of a bend just here, but it's not like a, and and it's not like a full one. I forgot I had that. Oh yeah, I think I have a little one too, but you can't see mine. Oh yes. Yep. Okay. Do you want me to lube it with my mouth? No, I don't want you. (laughs) Dude, I'm having. Okay, wait, wait. Dude. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Shh, shh. It's gone now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my heart. No, I was so excited. I just- That's your rush, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we were so close. <laughs> That's sexual harassment. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> I, I will be doing this. Okay. I just thought you weren't, you weren't being fast. You though. can't. There's no way that I would be able to withstand you touching my asshole with this. There's no way. Well, I didn't know what to do. I got scared. There wasn't much time. And look, it sucked back up. <laughs> oh. Anyway. All right, next question is from Sh- uh, Sean Sha. Streeter. Um, I think they're uh, referring to how all the social media people are challenging each other to fights lately. <laughs> yeah. um, this is, but they say, can you please fight the Powerfish, as in Willem Powerfish, and then the winner can fight Madman Brad? They're your mates. I don't think you want to yeah, fight. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't like that. We're all we're like the guys we know in social media. We're mates with. We wouldn't. It, I, I can't punch a friend. It'd be, it'd be silly. Is a madman Brad trained though? Uh, oh, he, yeah, I thought he's he was done a, it, MMA. He's a kickboxer or something, isn't he? Yeah, MMA. So that'd be a tough. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, no way would I do that. And, <laughs> and, and Willem, yeah, he's he's um, he's killed people. Mm. Next question is from a little bird. Um, question for the pog. What was that? Matt's looking around confused. Most Michael is too. You're fine. Uh, the only one who knows where it is is Marty. What the fuck is that? That's you. Anyway. How did you do that? Science. Next question <laughs> for the podcast, um, including Matty Boy. Uh, do you boys like lobster? And what's the weirdest sea creature you've ever eaten in Australia? Yeah, I fucking love a bit of lobster. Oh, so sweet and yummy. The weirdest sea creature. Fuck, I don't know. What's weird to people? Calamari, octopus, caviar. Oysters are always seaweed. Calamari as far as I'll go with so seafood. <laughs> yeah, Michael hates seafood. Oh, it's, dude, it's so bad. What about a bit of fish? No. Mm, a bit of crumbed brisket. That's not fish, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> um, next question is for Shaq Keel from, sorry, it's from Shaq Keel or Neil. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal. It's from Shaquille, oh, Shaquille O'Neal, the, the uh, former yeah. basketball Suzy, player from the LA Lakers. Susie O'Neal yeah. watches oh. our uh, podcast. Um, what is your favorite video game? Oh, fuck. I don't okay. really play video games anymore, so I'm going to pass this over to Michael because he is excited. His <laughs> knees are bouncing so fast right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put a few out there, okay? There's fucking the classic worms that we were top 10 in the world at. <laughs> okay? Worms Armageddon, big deal. I fucking love that game. Isn't there a new one? Fable. Fucking Fable. Fable 1, 2, and 3. Unbelievable. Yeah, you love that really? shit. Oh, I got off over it. It yeah, was a high school thing. Walk in on him wanking off to the female characters. Yeah, it? there was some hot ones. But, mm. yeah, and then, like, come on, Battlefield's always good for a war game. It's better than Call of Duty. Red Dead? Red Dead's great, but it's too big. I can't, I don't have time. Crash Bandicoot? <sighs> it's just Crash. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Um, what about um, CTR Crash Team Racing? That's when sorry, we can, I think that's what I was getting at. But yeah, like all time, fuck, you can't. It depends on the human. For me, if I could play through one, two, and three of Fable again without never playing them before. I've seen you play a lot of golf. Yeah, Julian. I enjoy a bit of golf, but fuck, it depends on the mood. But yeah, I really liked Fable as a little boy, girl. You should play that again, eh? What was the last video game you ever played, Marty? <laughs> um, I can't even remember. You me. loved Bully. Yeah, Bully's oh, a good one. I loved Bully. Kenneth Canham edit. I, I get, I, I purposely just don't game because uh, I feel like I, yeah, I would waste a lot of time and I wouldn't, the very little sleep I get would be gone if, yeah. I, if I gamed. It's, um, it's fun. It's fun. It's good fun. It's a good time. But yeah, GTA 5 is great too. Fuck, there's so many good games now. There's a lot, hey. I there's can't wait. Maybe in 10 years time when VR come around and you play the games with the glasses on and you think another world, huh? That'd be fun. Ooh. <laughs> Next question is from Stephen Hunt. Um, how would you feel about either one of you being cloned? Um, yeah, I'd be. that'd be fucking great. That would be really good. I'd fucking... It'd be good to have a handshake with me and have a chat to me. And um, and then we could split the work. And like, yeah, like one of us could just go um, go f- go sleep for the day, right? And the other one does the work and then we swap, right? That's pretty fair. So, you think about how productive you would be, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I'd probably get cloned too. You sold it to me. What if your clone's evil? Well, if you aren't evil, why would you clone be cunt? Same fucking cunt, cunt. It's just two of you, cunt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> very, fucking, very fucking be smart. the fucking best cunt in the world, cunt. <laughs> Next question is from Mad Matt. Um, <laughs> Marty, would you ever consider doing a German prank call, call to somebody in Germany? Speaking um. in German. Be hard for us to follow, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the time difference as well. Like in Germany right now, it's like the middle of the night. It's like they're on the other side of the world. So, like, we'd have to, like, wake someone up and, like, like we could do it. Maybe we should do that. Like, seriously. No. Next question is from Max Oxlong. <laughs> would you rather pea needles or shit razor blades? Pea needles or shit razor blades? I would much prefer to shit razor blades. Oh. Pissing needles? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, but they're thin. They come out easier. Razor blades cut your ass. What if it fucking turns and jabs and digs into the side? Oh, the dude, needle. I'd probably go pissing. Really? I do shitting out razor blades. But you can pull your ass cheek apart and razor blade nah, can fit it's out. It's going to be slicing the fucking colon, dude. Man, pissing fucking needles would be... I've done it. I've done that. Oh. So, it's not it's not good. They get they turn. They don't come out like this all the time. If they turn even slightly, it jags and gets stuck. <laughs> Has it and ever come the ones out completely horizontal? Sideways. Yeah, man. Twice. <clears throat> Looked like a f- f- eye of Mordor. <clears throat> um, next question from Lachlan Wall. Who? Um, do, you have a, do you ever have a day off during the week? <laughs> no, not anymore. When we first started, we had a few, but there's just a lot to do at the moment, eh? It's Monday. We treat it like a nine to five job. We fucking come and we're fucking legends. 
nine to five, and then we go home and we're fucking quiet little, quiet little boys. We we'll go to our nests and rest our bodies, have a little sleep and a bit of food. Fuck you! And then we get up the next day, do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm itchy. Next question is from our friend Sabrina. Um, She's asking, what does the code word shotgun mean? You guys can explain that. Great. Shotgun. <laughs> Is terrible. Yeah, it's weak. That's like, it's embarrassing. Your ass is so loose. There's not enough muscle around your ring. Oh, oh man, you've really swafted <laughs> that into me, you fucking cunt. <laughs> It's so bad. Sour bitch. It stings. Out. Oh, you're rotting inside. Oh, it's not good. Mm. I sort of like it. Shotgun is um, something that in Australia, if you say, I don't know why it's shotgun, but you say shotgun, that means you have the right to sit in the front passenger seat of the vehicle that everyone's traveling in. And everyone's rules are slightly different, but we've been playing this for 20 years, right? We have fine-tuned the rules to the best. Everyone's like, eh, you're going to be able to see the car. No, you fucking don't, okay? We've played like that before 20 years ago. It's shit. All it is is a race to the car and the same fucking person wins the whole time. It, it can't be that. It's not fair because then it's just whoever's the fastest gets to sit in the front. That's not fucking fair, is it? So it's whoever, when you're walking to the car to leave... That's when you can say shotgun. First person to say. But if you say shotgun and then you turn and you go to the toilet, you lose your shotgun. Someone else can then say it. You must be walking to Even the car. Even if you go car. to turn a light off, you're doing something. Yeah. It must be you're going to the car. All right. Also, if both of you say shotgun at the same time, then it's like pers- it's like jinx. So you got to say it again. So shotgun, shotgun. Let's do it. Ready? Shotgun, 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 shotgun. And then he would have had it. This, that happened the other day. We did we really? shotgun, shotgun twice. And then and all th- it. it was three people. Was it all three? Me, you, No, Jay? it was just me, you. Oh, okay. But there were three people there, Matt. Matt? Matt. Greg. But America uses Brad. shotgun as well, I'm pretty sure. You know, they use the shotguns to <laughs> shoot things. <laughs> and they shotgun what? With beers and shit. I wonder why they said, oh yeah. I wonder why it became shotgun. But they, they, say, right, they say riding shotgun. Because well. yeah, you're, you're the shotgunner in the car. Back in the 60s. Back in the 90s. 60s. Next so question bad. is from Christoph. Uh, I can't say this last name. I mean, you Yeah, Umunit. that's it. That, you pronounce that perfectly. Um, in which German city was Marty born? Hafelberg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Berlin. <laughs> fuck, motherfucker. Schickstum. Hafelberg. What is that? It's the town where I was born, man. What happened to Berlin? You lied about Berlin. No, I lived near Berlin. No one knows. So, wh- weren't you what trapped in the fucking is. stupid little Berlin thing? Yeah, we were trapped on the east side, man. Well, so what? That's not fucking Berlin. What? There were other towns that were trapped. What's yours? Harry Pot or some shit? <laughs> Hufflebauk, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Hufflebauk. So what? So the wall, like there was fucking people trapping you the in there wall, as well. Isn't it's not like the Great Wall of China where it goes through the entire country. Yeah, but like, you, <laughs> did you shit? No, yeah. I think it's Bosley. Uh, um, so we, you weren't allowed to leave that little yeah, fucking no, we Harry were, Potter. Well, we weren't allowed to cross from the east to west, but the wall came down when I was born. It was a very hostile environment because the wall had come down. Do you remember it? Yeah, of course I remember being born. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> I remember just punching through, grabbing some pubic hair of my mother and pulling myself out and then forcing my head out. And I, the first words I screamed was run. Because <laughs> oh. I could sense Russians nearby. <laughs> and we did. And we oh. ran to Australia and here we are. <laughs> Next question is from Germans Andrew. are like deer. You have to be able to run straight away. Otherwise you get... Shot. <laughs> you know how deer... A deer can sprint Yeah, they're like, they're like minutes fully after operating. Born. Like a full... Did you know that, like Matt? Like a computer. <laughs> the Bambi. Have you seen Bambi? They're fucking operating like full computers 10 minutes after they were born. Australian babies take like, what, three years before Dude, they can fucking so do anything? shit. It's like, just put them in a fucking... In the freezer for I three years. I think all babies are like that, dude. But deer babies, Matt, they can fucking run pretty much straight away. Matt? German babies aren't like that. German babies can run. Like I was fully aware and conscious (laughs) 
two months before I was due to go out. Like I had- That's why you remember being born. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It was it was like I had to come out then because I could sense the Russians coming. Uh, question for the podcast: um, Who would win in a staring contest. contest between b- both of us? Yeah, I don't know. It'd Fuck, be fifty-fifty. Be even, eh? Depends on the day. Whose yeah. eyes are more lubricated, man? All right. What do you want me to fucking say? We had a comp on our Instagram live with heaps of people, and we didn't lose once. We didn't lose once. Sometimes we go live on Instagram and have staring contests. If you see us go live on Instagram, let's bring it on. And man. everyone's like, "Oh man, I never. I'm on on the wrong time as you guys." Turn post notifications on. That's what Bree did, and Bree got to f- like. Bree got to go live with us. Yeah, and she got to. She did. She no. She lost. Yeah. No, lost. she put a fucking ice cream on her head. So she won. Yeah. So turn notifications on. I think Bree might have asked a question. It could be the same. Bree Firth. Yeah, she's asked a question today. We'll get to it in a sec. Um, next question is from Logan Gillian. How do we know that you're not holograms? Uh, well, I guess you don't. You don't know that we're no, not listen. holograms. <laughs> They're fucking scienced it, cunt. That is how you know we ain't holograms. Solid. Holograms, his hands are just go like that. I thought you were for a bit. Yeah, I didn't want to scare you guys too much, <laughs> oh, eh? Shit, so I know we're a bit like anti about holograms. Next question. Matt, can you do it? What? Clap. Clap. Oh. Yeah, see? So we're all people. What do you oh, hang on. Yuli is FaceTiming me. This could be good. No one telling him what we're doing, all right? Oh, hey, man. What's going on? McLean. Oh, are you filming? No. What makes you think that? Oh, you're in front of a green screen and- uh, Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice. You got a wig on? Oh, this thing? Yeah. I just wear this to sun protection. Oh, shit. Sorry. I was just calling to say that uh, I bought copyright for our intro song for the sports series. Oh, yes. I oh, mean, you should see these episodes, Matt. They are fucking spot on. It looks like TV. They're like vanilla. It's like, van- you know, ice cream? It's like vanilla ice cream. Oh, so you are fucking- Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, Matt's just here. He's hanging out. Hey, man. Not, oh, man. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not filming. Oh, is this a prank call or some shit? <laughs> what are you, you fucking called me, man. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, here's Bree with her question um, she's asked it before but she wants to know is there gonna ever going to be a meet and greet in the future yeah there is we just don't know when and where it's, it's hard with all this COVID shit you know because we'll be like eh, you fucking there's plans eh, fucking you guys fucking killing old people by meeting up like it's just fucking next question is from Josh what's the best and worst part about being Marty and Michael the best part would be that we now have a platform with which to make a lot of people laugh if we can. Yeah. That's the best part, making people laugh, lots and lots of people. And the worst part um, is the, um, the f- there's weird shit that you don't even think that was going to suck until you um, yeah. sort of become recognized a bit. Yeah, you fucking, you really do sell your soul. Cause and there's like, no going back. It's like- Every time you go out now, everyone's looking at you. Yeah. And like, you think that's cool, but then it gets old. And also, you know, like, you just like, people are always so nice to you and you just don't know whether it's genuine or whether they want something from you now. I get what people say or famous people say about how it can be shit being famous. Yeah. But like, having said that, I would still fucking prefer this yeah. way over what we had. So living the fucking dream, cannot complain. But yeah, it's, it's it's relentless. There's a lot of pressure now. Constant content out. It's just, it's a hard industry to stay on top of. You have to be fucking nonstop cunt. Do you know what I'm fucking saying? Oh, dude, I'm you right there you. With can't you can't be like, fuck, I feel like not working hard for a few months. Cause bye. <laughs> See that? I waved everyone. Bye. <laughs> like that. Choose. <laughs> oh, Choose. Don't leave on the Deutsch. Choose. Oh, oh don't Deutsch. Next question is from Xander. If a stick is snapped in half, does it become two sticks or a broken stick? I fucking cut that. It becomes a broken stick. You think it's fucking two sticks, don't you? 
That's because, why you're angry about that question. Be, I didn't even listen. It's just shit. What, it'd be like snapping an arm into two pieces and then saying, oh, it's two arms now. No, it's one arm snapped in half. You fucking right. cunt. Well, what about this? Is the stick a stick or is it a tree? Because it came off the tree, broke off it. It's a fucking... Tr- it's, a, it's a stick. If you snap a finger off, it's a fucking finger. It's not a body. It's a body part. Yeah. It's a tree part. A stick is, is a, a tree, tree part. part. Done. Last question. Lock it in. <laughs> From Manny Garcia. <laughs> what is your favorite video you've ever made? Oh, man. The Fuck. AFL one's up there. That was, oh. that was a stressful time and a lot of things could have gone wrong there. A few things did go wrong, but we fucking, we got through it. So, as, as fucked as it was, it's a fucking, that's a, that's a, it's a good video. How to kick a goal. The AFL grand final. We show you how. Yeah, but what the funnest to film. I loved the B video. <laughs> fucking B video <laughs> just because it was like bees there's drugs yeah they were, you were getting injected with fucking bee venom but like that was you know the, I forget the, the what's that give you like a rush get me off so the B video is good but like ones that get give you a rush without you you know you're gonna die I like the ones that take that take a lot of effort to get right you know, like the fucking billboard prank, the sky riding one. Man, so so rewarding seeing him just so shocked. Wasting our money and ruining my phone number that I've yeah, had for fucking like it's 10 so, years. So rewarding seeing him, his life just re- like really, really ruined. All right, moving on to the next segment, which is... The Hunt! And this is a segment where we have an objective and our objective is to prove or disprove that Hamish and Andy are fucking holograms, all right? No one's, we've, we've come, just give you a quick, uh, we'll just give you a quick update of where we're at with this, all right? We just, we thought Hamish and Andy, they must be fucking holograms because no one's ever seen them before. Then we started trying. So our plan was to send them some shirts that said, I, I am real because holograms can't wear shirts. And if they can put the shirts on, send a video of themselves saying we are real and send it to us, then we'll believe that they're not holograms. Okay. This is week number, the beginning of week three of this saga. So last week we left you guys, the manager, our package got lost. Uh, Melbourne was in lockdown, so they couldn't put our fucking shirts on, all right? Anyway, let me um, just quickly read the email um, that I sent to his manager, to their manager, and her reply, all right? How's that? All right, so um, I said... I said, hey, I won't say her name for some reason. (sighs) Hope you had a good weekend. Just a heads up, our shirts are still being processed in Melbourne. Bloody COVID has messed our plans. I'll stay in touch and let you know when they've arrived. So Australia Post said, oh, your shirts have not arrived because of COVID fucked everything up. Then she replied, hey, Marty, Fox FM receptionist said there's a package waiting for us, which I believe is from you guys. So fuck yes, it did arrive. Australia Post is wrong. So maybe not all is lost. Andy has a solid few days with the cube launching, but we won't forget. (coughs) Wow. Okay. So the manager is on our side. Okay. It's going to get it across the board, but you know, if I was a manager of a hologram, I would, I would fucking drag it out. I would I'd do everything I could to sort of, you know, from actually doing the task at hand. So we'll see. We'll fucking see. Um, our next fucking segment uh, is, uh, fuck, it's been renamed. Like, it's like- Be delicate with it. That's what has been renamed. And this is a segment where we just open shit that you guys sent to our P.O. box. And it's written right here. Right there. See that? And this is, we've only got one package to open this week. So if you want us to open something live on our podcast. Could be supporting your business. Yeah, you could be advertising something, a small business of your own. Or it could be a funny letter. Or it could be a toe. It could be a shot glass full of breast milk. Eh? Oh. All right, what do we have here? All right, so we have a fucking package, and I had a bit of a feel of this before. Anthrax! Oh my god, someone has sent us anthrax! Someone sent us anthrax! Someone sent us anthrax, Matt! Look, it says anthrax. Someone fucking sent us anthrax! (laughs) We always used to joke. Oh, you sweaty cunt. cunt. (laughs) We always used to joke in season one, we'd say... (laughs) That is so fucking sick. 
<laughs> and these little glitches are all slitches. <laughs> <laughs> we always used to joke and say, what if someone sends us anthrax in the PO box one day? And someone sent us anthrax. Thank you to whoever sent us anthrax. And what do we got here? A dick and balls? A hemorrhoid. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god, if you're listening to this on Spotify, we are not joking. Someone's just sent us a hemorrhoid and anthrax. That's so fucking cool. See, this is creative shit. Yeah, that is. I'm gonna put them. They're like little soft toys if you're listening. I reckon you'll fuck this. I reckon you'll put some of these (laughs) in your ass. Um, who sent that? Well, here's a, a letter. Name. Here's a letter. Oh, it's a letter. This is the shit I was talking about. Anything and everything, but this is good. This is good fucking P.O. boxing shit. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck off, you seeping fucking <laughs> serpent. <laughs> oh, oh, you're hurting my feelers. Oh. Here you breathe. Every- hey, Martin Michael! Enjoy these gifts. I hope they sleep well at night. Sorry I didn't get Matthew- Sorry I didn't get Matthew Gregory Brown one. I'm not even sure he is real. Fair. That's fair. Hmm. I understand that logic. Happy Easter, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, and Happy New Year. Melbourne just went into lockdown, so who knows when OzPost delivers. Please don't read my last name or Insta out on podcast. Lots of love, Jasmine- (laughs) <laughs> you have to cut the last name, Connor. Fuck you! Oh, he just pinched me. I'm getting angry. I'm getting very grumpy. We gave her a follow, we gave right? Follow. We, if you send us shit, we'll give you a fucking follow. How's that, eh? <laughs> and rad shit. Not like fucking... What was it? Some... Uh, marbles or some shit? No, we got some shitty gremlins. Oh, the fucking gremlins. Come on. The what gremlins the fuck? Were, the gremlins were good. Oh, Matt, <laughs> stop fucking pretending. The gremlins were shit, okay? <laughs> Send us some fucking cool shit, okay? Like anthrax and fucking hemorrhoids. Not gremlins. We aren't 12 years old. It's probably some beautiful little poor kid. He just wants to send his best toys to fucking Marty and Michael. And we've just yeah, well, have shat. a fucking think before you fucking act. Saved if, up all year If to you're buy 12 them. or under, we're sorry. If you're older, fuck you. I liked them. <laughs> yeah, no, I kept them. I did keep the grandmas. Yeah. I keep everything. If you watch Sometimes closely. I look, I, I go through it in my, on my bed and I just fucking cry. It's so good. Yeah, he does do that. They did survive the whole of season two on the table. Yeah. If you watch closely. <laughs> I have cleared it. If they were here right now, I'd burn them. I'd we melt them add down. the hemorrhoid and him and good Anthrax <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you fucking He's dripping. Thing. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. No one knows my pain. Oh. It's so hot with the hair, oh, yeah. but I do it for a laugh. No, <laughs> yeah, one, no one's even fair. probably even laughed. I'm just sweating me gal out for no fucking reason. <laughs> All right, the next segment. Mm. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Oh, ach yes. du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. And this is a segment where I read out German, common German phrases and sayings. Just normally, I read them out in a normal, perfect way as if I'm having a conversation with another German person. Here we go. <clears throat> what is funny, Michael? I have not started reading. I just know it's going to be so good. <clears throat> okay. Das ist Jacke wie Hose für mich. Das ist Jacke wie Hose für mich. Why do you say fish weird at the end? Mich. For mich. It's fish. <laughs> what? It's so fucked. And that translates to, that is jacket like trousers to me. Which means that six of one and half a dozen of another. <laughs> wow. Matt didn't like that one. I have to remember to read it three times for Matt. <sighs> okay. Er hat sich mir nicht, dir nicht aus dem Staub gemacht. Oh, dude, that was Hitler reincarnated. Er hat sich mir nichts, dir nichts aus dem Staub gemacht. 
<lacht> aus dem Staub gemacht. Aus dem Staub gemacht. <lacht> wow. Aus dem Staub gemacht. <lacht> aus dem Staub gemacht. Oh mein Gott. Ew. That was Joseph Goebbels. That is means... He made himself, me nothing, you nothing, out of the dust. <laughs> oh, that's not... No one says that. He made off. He cut and ran, basically. So um, that's why I said that with a bit more passion. Because that's what you're saying when someone's ripped you off in Germany. God. Yes? <laughs> Next, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop the market? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> mein lieber Herr Gesangsverein! <laughs> mein lieber Herr Gesangsverein! <laughs> oh my god. That is fucked. Mein lieber Heinz. <laughs> mein lieber Herr Gesangsverein! <laughs> How do you reach those tones? Which means, my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> Last one. Fuck off! Excuse me, I am speaking German. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> ich kratze die Kurve! Ich kratze die Kurve! Ich kratze die Kurve! <laughs> <laughs> Which means I scratch the curve. Which means, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that's how you say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's I how the young that. hip kids in Germany say, I'm out of here. Yeah, 100%. Like, I've been in a big group of teenagers and they all said that to each other. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty intense. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, it continues to surprise me, the fucking it is German. A, it is a beautiful language. Um, yeah, sure, there are some sounds that aren't natural, but it is a beautiful linguistic combination. It of, is fucking of, demology. Of, of holy tradition. Demonology. Tradition and just a lot of... A lot of rich history has gone into that language and you can hear it it's really profound you know what i mean like sometimes listening to a fluent german speaker it's like listening to beethoven or something imagine the music it's a heavy metal band uh rammstein oh. are they rammstein you remember rammstein i've heard of them yeah i never really listened to them remember that butch dick was a butch dick i can't remember du hast 99 du red hast red balloons that's not do that's not <laughs> Schnapp, schnappy, 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 schnapp. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, dude. there is a European version of that, isn't it? It's yeah. in Eurotrip. Yeah. Yeah. 99. It's in the German language, so it's just like, what? We need to wash this microphone. I just sort of use it as like a little beard tickler. Yeah, you probably should. You fart really close to it a lot. A lot of speckles. I thought for sure I'd have some gas today, eh, boys? Yeah, fuck, man. I told you, you shouldn't have wasted them at the beginning. Maybe you're right, man. Maybe you're right, right? Right. right. Lesson has been learned, man. Put it here. No, I'm not touching you, you fucking pool. <laughs> yeah. God. Pool. What? You are just slang clang clang clang. I can't wait for the summer to go away. It's fucking hot in here. Oh, dude, I love, I love winter. winter. Mm. Jackets, mm. dunas. Yeah, I do like jackets. You've yeah. got some good jackets. Yeah, you can wear better shit. Like summer, you literally have to just wear a shirt and shorts. One you of my can't... earliest memories of you, Michael, is you were wearing like a purpley jacket. You look like um, Russell Brand a bit for some reason. Michael purple. used to love purple. Yeah, it was he'd a fucking, purpley jacket. He'd fucking dress up as Barney half the time around fucking Europe. Can't. And Holy like, shit, purple, I had like all purple, purple jeans. jeans, purple yeah. jacket, purple bit in his fucking fuck I, hair. I had a little purple streak. I looked like literally- Barney. Barney the fucking dinosaur. I looked like a lesbian. You looked like Barney the dinosaur on a massive meth bender. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, purple jacket. I don't really remember that, but yeah, I don't have it anymore, Matthew Brown. The final segment has arrived! Brown. It is time to prank Fuck call. Brown. 
Wow. All right, the prank call this week. Oh, my fucking voice is a bit all fucked. I don't know why. Oh, dude, it's because of your fucking... German. Your native tongue destroys your voice box because it's fucking demons. No, it can't be that. All right, so for the prank call this week, I'm going to try and get a job interview as a fucking derelict dog. All right, as a fucking just piece of shit human being. The same piece of shit who tried to get a job last week. Instead, Darren the junkie is his name. Darren the fucking junkie can't. And um, I'm I'm not gonna. We're not gonna call fucking one of those Domino's KFC places because they'll all just say the same thing. Apply online. Let's just call an independent restaurant. What about like yeah, like a, a family business? That's exactly right, my friend. Everyone. Sh- Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Get it, get his dude, dude. Holy hold shit. it. It's gonna take some work, man. It's hot. I can't. I can't spread the cheeks and hold this at the same time. Well then, I've got. You gotta trust me. You're gonna have to learn to trust me. Michael's gonna put it in there. You've gotta trust me, dude. I'll do it properly. I'll do it softly. I won't fucking... I'll make sure it's warm too. I'll heat it up with my fingers. <laughs> you guys are going to have to practice to yeah. say he knows the feeling. Oh, So dude. he doesn't freak yeah, out. Like, I'm pissed off a bit, but I understand. It was your first attempt. <laughs> I, I'll get better, okay? <laughs> yeah. But like, you're going to have to trust me. Fuck. It's going to... like Because I, I was so... I was, I was, look, you don't need to put it all the way on. Look. <sighs> See? Yeah, I, w- I want to hear fucking hot. I want to f- see. Look at how perfectly you need to place this. Ready? I want to hear hot cross buns. There's not much room for error here. Okay, yeah, I won't touch on the first few attempts. Oh, well- I just fucking touched. My- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just fucking touched my lip. <laughs> um, fuck. Well, okay, the first five attempts, I won't touch your asshole with it. After that, that's when we'll start attempting to put it on the on the lips. Because, and then that shows that you can trust me if I don't touch your ass for five. Okay. Okay. I'll just. But you have right to have to try and find the right. You yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be spot. moving. Yeah, yeah. Is there a constant wind flow? Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. Like yeah. There is. There is a constant, but it's hard to control the amount of air. It's it's hard to it's hard to keep it a Might consistent be a big amount. Burst. Like that, I have to try and keep. A yeah, I was, I was wondering if it's powerful enough to set off the. Yeah, yeah. Look, look how gently I'm lying. You fucking pig! You fucking pig! Michael's a gassy boy today, isn't he? Eh? Don't forget to put your phone on silent. Mm. Don't you mean private? private. Yeah, g'day. Um, my name's uh, Darren. I was just wondering, are you um, like hiring or nothing at the moment? Like, you're hiring people for a um, bit of extra work there, a couple of shifts here and there. I'm not laughing much. Sorry, what do you mean? Um, do you guys hiring? Like, you guys got, um, like, a uh, fucking, uh, what's it called, like, job? He's got a job. Um, does does anything need doing around your restaurant that I can help out with? And use like pay me like an hourly uh, number. Please drop your resume, and they will. I don't have a um. I don't have a printer, but like I can just quickly tell you my resume now, right? So um, I haven't like worked uh, much. I haven't done any work in um like restaurants and that, but. I did um I did a bit of labouring work, bloody like well it must be like over a year ago now. A bit of labouring work for like two months, uh, but it's just so hot I had to get out of it. And before that, I was uh, apprentice um, Sparky um, for uh, Brisbane Council. So like I've been around, like I've done I've done hard bits, um, but like I'm just like you know because COVID and that. And like, you know, it's it's getting a bit bloody it's settling's getting bloody drying up and that because all that jobs job seeky bloody nonsense yeah, is going Yeah. I yeah. understand that just any position needs the resume. So the boss will know who you are, where you're from and yeah, just to see the personal Tell things first. Right. Well my, hiring. Right, well my name's um Darren Johnson. 
Darren Johnson and I live not far yeah, from yeah. you guys. You have to... I, I've you had. Me. The boss will see you, not me. Now. Okay. Um. What about right? What about right? Like, look, look at this, right? What about? Because I don't have like printer in that to print out my resume, right? So like, I can write on a bit of paper. I can write on a bit of paper what I can do, like my skills and that, and like all my my characteristics, characteristics and that, like that make me good at jobs. I can put that on. I can write that down. Okay. I'll do that for you, right? But right now, what I need from you is is a fucking. I need a commitment from you. I want a crack at that job that's open right I want to come in and I want to have a trial run at that job I think I'm fucking good for the job obviously like I'm I'm like like listen to me like I'm fucking passionate man I'm like fucking I'll fucking get shit done can't I'll fucking get shit done fuck 10 15 job. minutes do you know what I'm saying like I'll be up a fucking corporate ladder before you fucking even say hi to me can't I can't say that I can hiring you sir Right, well, um, okay. okay, well, so I can't do anything about your position in any position. I'm a staff, I'm just a waitress, so I can take in your resume, give to boss, but I can't do anything more than that. Well, Understand what I mean? I if you come video. here, you just give me your name, your contact phone number, and that's it. And I will pass this thing to boss. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, yeah, right. But okay. I know, I know what you said about like the resume and that, and like bring that in, right? But like my computer has like so many viruses on it. Like I can't even open Microsoft Word on it. So I can't, I can't type my resume out, right? So I think. I think if I write it down on a bit of paper, right, with a pencil, I'll write my details down. I'll do that for you, all right? I'll fucking jot that down. <laughs> Done, right? I'll come in, fucking hand that to you, but I'm saying... You need to promise me. I need you to promise me right now that I've got the job. Okay. All right? Because I, like, you know you know what I'm saying? I've been on the phone, like, all day, right? Just calling, hustling around, fucking okay. job here, job there, right? Just come down, so I might hang up now because I still have the customer in front of me. No, wait, okay. look, I'll let you go. I can hear you busy, right? So I'll let you go, and I'm like, because I'm like aware of that shit. Like, if I, I can sense my work colleagues are fucking busy, right? I'll fucking, okay. I'll, I'll fucking let them do their job. Do you know what I mean? I want my sixth sense or some shit. So I'll come in with a bit of paper real quick, all right? And I'll fucking come in and see you soon, all right? All right, see you later, Sarah. See you later, bro. Stay on it, brother. I come in and drop my resume off, all right? I'll fucking write on a jot on a bit of paper. I'm still on the phone. I'm gonna wait until shit picks up again. Oh, oh my god, dude! I'm really starting to like Darren. He's um, a cool dude. Fuck! How can we do it so that they actually give me a job interview though? <coughs> Maybe I need to call like. Oh, I need. I need to call like. Like people that give jobs to labourers. Because they won't put up with that shit. <laughs> oh, they'll just be straight away angry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude. We need to call up fucking like- We need to call like a butcher. <laughs> a butcher or an electrician, I reckon. Man, if I fucking call the- Yeah, well- <laughs> Yeah, next week I'm going to call- I'm going to try and find a uh, laboring person. And feel free to comment suggestions, guys, because I'm, I'm all ears and eyes, man. Mm -hmm. So feel free to comment suggestions of the prank calls that you want to hear, all right? Because I don't know. And uh, like, it's fucking, <sighs> it's hard. That was, I, I had a great time, dude. I really enjoyed that. I really, there's a lot of pressure on the prank call. I just don't want to let you guys down, you know? Dude, no, 10 out of 10. Even the times that like they aren't, the best it makes the ones that are the best the best so it's got to be balanced it's, it's good to have shit ones in there because then that makes the good ones stand out yeah it's just like life there's bad day bad days <laughs> wet days and happy days like tocker tonight i'm going to play tocker i'm gonna have some mexican fuck i'm excited i'm gonna get fucking high <gasps> we're the best oh, oh my god Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>